Hey, my name is Father Norm. Our journey through life is a journey in learning how to love. That's what you're called to be, people of love. What can you do to bring love into the world? Near the end of my trainings, I was so happy. My youth group came together and I began to feel like I was a part of it. Just when everything seemed to be perfect, there was a whole change in my life. The central conflict of this book is uh, as a priest falls in love with a young school teacher named Shayla Strohmeyer. This young lady comes up to me about my age. She was beautiful. We sat down to talk and I had no intention of getting to know her because I was gonna be a priest. I mean, you can't be married and be a priest. I don't know what happened. We just started talking. She just started opening me up like a, a can of tuna or something. I started telling my story, my life, and, and I was going, wow, this is incredible. I've never done this before. And from then on, Shayla and I advanced. Whenever Shayla and I were together, it felt so good. I go, what's wrong with me? I never felt like this before. And I said, uh-oh, I'm in love. I'm in the seminary to be a priest, and I'm in love. This is not cool. He's almost uh, at the place where he's going to take his lifelong vows. What is he going to do? He loves this woman, and yet he believes God has a calling for his life. I was so scared, thinking I made a horrible mistake being a priest. I went through a lot of challenges as I went through this. Just kind of tried to listen to God. What, God, what are you trying to tell me to do? And it seemed like the choice was to stay where I was, to stay in the seminary. I realized that God did want me to be the father of many families. I've done all these things and been very much a part of their life. About a little bit over a year after I was ordained, she came and said, I decided to get married and we want you to do the wedding. And I went, whoa. <laughs> and I thought, well, I don't want anyone else to do it. So I said, yes, I will do your wedding. I don't have any regrets about that decision at all because I stayed close to David and Sheila and their children and their grandchildren and they're like part of my life. I hope this book really affects people's lives. I hope it inspires people. What's been so beautiful for me about writing this book is being able to look back and see how the relationship that I had with Sheila, that God used that to help me to understand love. It's a lifelong love story but it's a romance unlike any other romance you've ever read.